Hi, welcome back to Odo 16 Development Tutorials. In this video, let us discuss about security groups and access rights in Odo 16. Security access in Odo is configured through security groups. Permissions are given to groups and then groups are assigned to users. Here, I have a custom module named Tips and Tricks. Inside of it, I have a model Tips.Tricks. Now let's see how we can add access right for this model. Let's go to PyCharm. Here you can see the custom module tips and tricks. Inside the model, models directory I have created or I have defined the tips.tricks model like this and it has some basic fields inside it. Now let's see how we can add access right for this model. For that, I have created a folder named security inside the module tips and tricks. Inside the security directory, I have created the file ir.model.access.csv. In order, we create the security CSV files inside a file named ir.model.access.csv. So these records are created inside the model ir.model.access. Let's go to UI. Let's go to the settings. Under technical, we have this menu item access rights. So this is the model where we create the access right records. That is ir.model.access. Now in the CSV file, we will define the top line like this with the column names of the particular model. For access right records, it will be defined like this. In the next lines, we will create access right records. So, here this is how we create access right for the model tips.tricks. First of all, here I have mentioned the ID for the access right record, here name for the access right record, and here the, we will specify the model. So, here we will specify the model for which we are giving the access right. So, it is tips.tricks. So we will specify the model as model underscore the model name with dots are replaced by underscore. In the next section we will give the group. Since I haven't given any group here which means we are not restricting the access of tips.tricks model to any groups. Now in these sections we will give the permissions read, write, create and unlink. Since it is 1, it means the permissions are granted and if it is 0, it means the permissions are not granted. Now, let's go to the UI. Here, I have logged in as Michelle Admin. Let's go to our custom model, tips.trix. He can access the model, tips.trix. Now, let's log out from Michelle Admin and log in as another user. So here I have logged in as Mark Demo. Let's go to the module tips and tricks. Here he is also being able to access the record tips.tricks. Sorry, access the model tips.tricks. Now let's again log in as Michelle Admin. Then now let's go to the pie charm. Now we need to define the access right of the model tips.tricks to a particular group only. For that, I have created a security.xml file inside the folder security and specified its path in the manifest inside data. Now let's go back to the security.xml file. Here we will be creating the group. So let's go to the UI once again. And let's go to settings and under users and companies, we will see groups menu. Here we can see all the groups existing inside Odo. So here we, we will need to create a group through code. So we will give field value to these fields application and name. So let's check its technical name. Applications technical name is category ID and names is name itself. 
application is a mini to one field with the relation ir.module.category here i have opened a category record here let's check its metadata which is based on module category usability so this is the category extra rights so this will be the application we are giving for this particular group we are creating and we will specify the name also now let's go back to the pie chart let's open the record tag inside our security.xml file first of all we will pass the id i am giving it as tips tricks access and now next we will need to give the model so here we will specify restored groups so basically we are creating the groups inside the model restored groups and inside it i we will specify the field values so as i have already mentioned before we are going to give field values to two fields name and application which is category id let's open the field tag first field is name i'm naming it as tips and tricks access now the next field is category id here we need to specify the external id of the category we have seen before let's go to the ui again so this is the external id of the category extra rights let's copy it and we will specify the, the extra rights external id with the attribute ref let's uh, reformat the file now let's run the pie chart and upgrade the module now that the module is upgraded let's go to the groups once again let's check for our custom group so this is the group that we have just created so it has its application and name field here now we need to give access right for the model tips dot tricks to only for this group for that let's go to the file ir.model.axis.csv now we have in specified any groups inside here now let's specify the external id of the group just we have created here let's copy the external id paste it here now let's again run the pie chart and upgrade the module let's go to groups again let's check for our group so under access rights tab we can see the new access right we have created is seen here so now let's add users to this group i am going to add michel admin to this group let's refresh the page then since uh, we are logged in as michel admin and we are 
giving the access to machine admin only for the model tips dot tricks he will be able to access the model tips and tricks he can access tips dot tricks model now let's log out and log in as mark demo so let's open the uh, tips and tricks module so here mark demo is not being able to see the menu tips here which means he is not being able to access the records inside the model tips.tricks so this is how we can manage security groups and access rights in odo i hope this video was helpful thank you for watching